It's your girl, Sam Manuel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Happy self-care Sunday. It is currently pouring outside in the state of Florida. So what better way to start our Sunday? <laughs> what better way to start our Sunday than by making some brekkie, right? Right. <laughs> Today, I'm going to make a recipe for you guys that I really love. I like breakfast foods. I'm gonna make a recipe that I really love that I got down on Pat, and that is my homemade cinnamon waffles. In the morning, I'm making waffles. Bada bing. But we're gonna put a twist on them because I like adding new things into old things, and I just thought of it when I opened my cabinet. We got our bowl. I'm gonna take out a bunch of things that we're gonna need. We're gonna need flour, baking powder, not baking soda, salt, sugar, eggs, milk, and the secret ingredient. Eggs and milk. Hello, where are you? Hi, talk back please, because I can't find you. Oh, there you are. I love cinnamon. I love putting cinnamon in everything. I love it. I don't know, this is like cinnamon, Mwah. love it. Rainbow sprinkles. Funfetti cinnamon waffles. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to add these, but something's calling my name to do that. So we're gonna add sprinkles to the mix as well. Cinnamon's good for a lot of things. It boosts your metabolism, helps with inflation, um, not inflammation, sorry, not the economy. <laughs> I almost forgot, we're gonna need butter. Two, kind of a complicated recipe, I guess, but I really like making them from scratch like this. It's just fun for me to do, it's a good time. I like cooking in the kitchen, it makes me unwind, and uh, it's better than buying the little yellow tub of, you don't even know what the fuck's in there. So this is a great way to have a nice, healthy, healthy because you're making it, uh, I don't know, but it's, it's a great way to know what's going into what you're making. And that's always more comforting, I guess, for me. You don't know the difference, but I'm back. I started my laundry, you know, Sunday things. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the laundry's in the wash and I'm gonna get started on pancakes, waffles, breakfast, food, yeah. Unlike other recipes, mine is really easy. I'm gonna be a good girl this week and we're gonna do things the right way. So we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. Typically, when you do a recipe with dry and wet ingredients, you should do the dry first and then make a well and put the wet in. We're, we're gonna do that, it's, yeah, okay. We're gonna do one and a half cups of, oh, sorry. We need these. We're gonna do one and a half cups of flour. I don't sift anything, I don't see the need. I'm okay with not sifting anything. I don't feel like normal people sift, but YOLO. You only live once, that's the motto. You already know though. We can clean as we go. Okay. A tablespoon of sugar. And even though I'm measuring, I'm still kind of, if it's over a little bit, who cares? We're gonna do three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Bada bing. Salt is really just for taste. I don't like, I don't wanna put a lot of salt to be honest, cause we already, we already got an egg going in there. So we're gonna, for measurement purposes, we're gonna do like a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. That should do it. Oh. A tablespoon of cinnamon. Now my life is sweet like cinnamon. That's all my dry ingredients. We're gonna mix it up. You guys having a nice little Sunday? I know I am. I'm having a great Sunday. I got work tomorrow, but I'm happy about it. At least I have a job, right? Positive vibes. I am enough. I am worthy and deserving of love and money and positive affirmations. That's enough. Let's go over to our Let's make a well. We're gonna make a little well. We're gonna add our wet ingredients. We need one and a quarter milk. One and a quarter. 
A cup and a quarter of milk. Slowly pour it in your well. Yeah, that's nice. We need an egg too. Whole egg. Bye. This is my wet mixture in the well, so we're gonna start kneading everything together. Cool? Awesome, we love to see it. Keep in mind, we also need three tablespoons of melted butter. And add things gently. I like cooking in the kitchen and making food. Food is a love language for me. Waffles are delicious. I love pancakes and waffles. For me, they're kind of like the same thing, so. I'm just gonna melt this whole stick of butter and we'll see what we get from it, honestly. So, fuck it. We have our cute little waffle maker. I love this color. Plug her in when I'm ready, but. We're gonna melt our butter. You want a nice batter. You don't want it to be clumpy, but you want it to be thick. Um, not as clumpy as oatmeal. Smooth-esque. And I guess sifting the flour would have took a lot of those lumps out, but you could do that now. It's not gonna hurt it. It's not gonna make it any better or any worse. Three tablespoons of butter. This is why I said you didn't need a lot of salt. We have salt in the egg, we have salt in the butter. It, everything will, will pan out. Pancakes and waffles are like essentially the same thing for me. Drop a comment if there is a difference and I hurt your feelings. All right, you don't want to mix your batter too much because you don't want it to get too watery. We're going to plug in our waffle maker. We're actually going to throw our sprinkles in. How many sprinkles should we do? How much sprinkles should we do? We'll go, this is a tablespoon. We'll just, I'll see how it looks. Oh, how cute. Oh, I've never done this before. This is going to be fun, festive. Let's do four tablespoons. Yeah, that seems good. That seems good. Yeah, that's lit. That's nice. We love to see it. Okay, she looks good. This is our batter! It looks so cute! This is a great idea! I love it! We can't pour from this, but what we're gonna do is get something that we can pour from. We're gonna use our little cafecito cup, and we're just gonna dive right in here. I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. <laughs> We dove in, we definitely dove in. Life's about having fun. That was not a bad decision. I could always wash it, it's fine. It's fine, leave me alone. I wanted to brush some butter on our, our this. I know it's not a brush, bear with me. I just need to get some butter on here so it's not sticking. Okay, cool. It, you know, you use what you got, you use what you got. Let's get going. This is the first one, so it may not come out the best, but that's okay. We learn from our mistakes and we try again. We're gonna clean up. I'm gonna take out our, our syrup, our butter flavored syrup. Oh, I guess I could have did. No, it was for sticking purposes. Oh, it's leaking a little. That's okay, that's okay. You live, you learn. Let's scoop some more batter into our, oh man, that's, okay, it needs a little longer, but it can't, it's coming out cute. I think I put a little bit too much batter in there, which is okay, we could, we could eyeball it for next time. Not too much overflow, which is good. The first waffle might have turned out really good, from what I could say. Trying to defrost our syrup <laughs> near the waffle maker. I'll leave it right here, maybe. Like, I want the waffle to get a little darker. Oh, yeah. How's that, baby? How's that look? Wow, she's living. She's living. Look at her. Oh, the colors in there. Oh, I love it. This was a great idea. I love her. Look at her. She came out so good. Yes, she's giving. I overstuffed this one, but that's okay. I was just testing it out. I can't believe the first pancake came out the best for the most part. That's really rare. I love this machine too. It does a good job. It's better than making waffles pancakes on the stove, for sure. And there you have it. Waffles on Sunday morning. I'm gonna wind up making the rest of this batter and then freezing a bunch of them so I could have them for other mornings. But you can do whatever you want with your leftover batter. You can make all the, all the waffles and eat them. Or you could put the batter in a container and I wouldn't 
wait to use the batter for 48 hours. I don't know how long the batter lasts. I would say 48 hours. I would say if you want to make pancakes tomorrow or the next day, then you'd be able to save it. Put in a little Tupperware, save it for then. But I like to make all of them and then freeze the waffles. Last a little longer. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and take care of yourself, huh?